ratings are on, all classic gamer here and welcome to another video. This time I have some very unfortunate news to talk about. I can't believe that um, this sadly happened but what if I tell you? What if I tell you that we almost got uh, Crash Bandicoot cartoon and not just any cartoon, not like that uh, Skylanders Academy bullshit, a real 2D cartoon Pretty much like you can get some Red and Stimpy vibe, some Looney Tunes vibe, like like all the awesome stuff, like like something you know you want to watch, something that's just gonna be so awesome. And in general, uh, West has a really bad problems, like like you can't find a good Western cartoon nowadays. It's all fucking SJW propaganda bullshit, and this had a potential to be something awesome, but no. Guess what? It literally got cancelled yesterday. Up until yesterday, they there were plans for Crash Bandicoot cartoon to happen on Amazon, nonetheless. So, just to hear that it got cancelled yesterday, it's just horrible. Like, why are people... Not, I'm actually surprised that this was never the case, because Crash has been there since 1996, and... Uh, all those years, no one saw the potential to produce a Crash Bandicoot cartoon, like uh, like with the episodes and stuff. No, no one did it. Come on, can no one see a potential how awesome this can be? Like, uh, like just the material, the characters and everything, what kind of character Crash is. There's so much potential about... Uh, about a whole sort of Looney Tunes style the cartoon, all the awesome stuff, but, but no. No one did it. And now, like, just to be extra disappointed, one that almost happened got cancelled yesterday. Now you're probably wondering, uh, what is this? Uh, what do I, how do I know this? And uh, sure, let's check it out. I can tell you how I know it. The first one we can see is the one posted eight hours ago. This person pretty much... Uh, uh, just said if you had to direct a crash cartoon, what would it be like? And then look at this someone like uh, posted uh, um, How they would do it and they listed some pretty good ideas like uh, something like Looney Tunes Animaniacs meeting uh, Spider-Man and, and, uh, and the whole uh, dialogue witty dialogue design animation slapstick comedy Everything that Crash Cartoon needs, it is here. Everything is mentioned here. Like, I'm not going to uh, read everything here, like, uh, word to word. But you can see it on the screen. You can pause it if you're just curious. There's also going to be a link in the description if you're going to read the threads yourself. But let's see this comment from uh, a Pert Kelly. Uh, they wrote... Uh, there was a show just like this that was going to happen, but Activision gave it the axe yesterday, after a year of development. It was basically Looney Tunes in style, and it was really good. I will post the episode synopsis in here later. Do you have a source of this? Because they are being incredibly pressing if true. And uh, Pert Kelly says, source me. I was a writer on the show, and now this was the first thread, and now this person, uh, they later uh, made uh, their own thread and said, uh, a new Crash cartoon at Amazon axed yesterday after a year of development. No cartoon coming. And now we can see this was edited three hours ago. Now, sadly, I don't know what was originally written here. Because this was not the original uh, uh, text. However, uh, there is no way that I can view the original because I'm not the Reddit moderator. And uh, I tried looking some uh, uh, websites like, uh, for example, if we replace uh, Reddit with uh, like uh, this. Uh, ah, they actually removed this. Uh, that I can't find even the website anymore, but... But no mind, you get a point. Uh, now let's see. Uh, let's read up some of the comments and see 
what happened here actually why was this cancelled and uh, if we can uncover something all right so this person says i thought it was netflix that was working with them not amazon and kelly says nope netflix refuses to work with activision again it was going to be two seasons on amazon and it was in development for a year showrunner was bill cop of eek the cat can you at least tell us if it was 2D animated or not? Yeah, it was 2D. There is actually a link here with something that I'm gonna play at the end, but first... Uh, we can see something that um, was written in the, orig in the thread, like after the edit. Apparently, a lot of people didn't believe uh, Kelly about this, and um, they accused Kelly of making this up, and this kinda made Kelly a bit upset, but um, because of that... Uh, uh, they provided a, a link uh, to Google Drive which has a preview of this animation and uh, you know what? Let's check it out! Dr. Neil Periwinkle Cortex here with this ingenious device this ordinary bandicoot will be mutated into the perfect leader for my Cortex Commander! <laughs> Did you see that? How epic it was! Aside from a uh, Dr. Neocortex voice, which sounds a little off because uh, uh, we're used to uh, Lex voicing him, but uh, maybe this was a placeholder uh, voice actor, or I, I don't know, because uh, the show wasn't uh, fully developed. Maybe, maybe Lex would have vo voiced at the end. Maybe not. I don't know, but. Uh, Everything aside from the voice was perfect. Animation, the way how it's, uh, the way how the dialogue works, it, it is just so awesome. Like it gives you such a good vibes, like mix between uh, uh, Looney Tunes and Ren and Stimpy. I just can't believe that this was cancelled. Let's check out. Let's scroll a bit down and see uh, what happens. Like. Uh, the Kelly said that uh, they will see if they can post the scripts. I don't know if it will be posted or not, but uh, at least uh, they posted a, a teaser animation of sorts, which which gave us the idea how the show was gonna be. And uh, let's see how it, what the other people say. Uh, let's see. Uh, be this true or not, don't feel bad for the others on the road. They, they can still find other projects and live out their profession. I like many who have to make a living in warehouses and fast food. And uh, kind of uh, Kelly confirms that's not quite a case. And they mention uh, a pandemic and everything. It's, it's kind of depressing and sad. And uh, let's see. A Canadian guy actually posted here. Shout out to him, he's a very good YouTuber. Uh, hold the phone. I have worked in animation and have had official animation go to air on CBC and NBC Sport Out. This does not sound right. Millions of people uh, don't uh, get cut because of uh, a joke. Many are under contracts. If it got cut, it would simply uh, be because uh, they felt they wouldn't have enough money on it. Not because of a joke they didn't agree with. I'm sorry, but this might become poorly aged, but until I see confirmation from someone more credible, I'm not believing this. Apparently, there's a thing going around that this got cancelled because there was a disagreement uh, of some joke or something. Now, I don't know what was uh, the joke, maybe we can find out by scrolling, but uh, the thing is... Uh, the the Western animation industry is fucked. They they, they pretty much uh, have um, a horrible um, uh, sense of uh, perception, what, what's good and what's bad, and they're gonna they're gonna come up with the uh, most uh, uh, pathetic uh, choices there can be uh, just to push their agenda. And this is something you don't see in uh, in Japan or or some other countries. This is 
primarily a Western uh, industry. Eastern one is fine. This uh, problem only persists there. This is just why I well, pretty much gave up on uh, watching uh, Western cartoons altogether, because it's just... Uh, they always gotta fucking ruin it with something, and uh, I'm just tired of that shit. But apparently, there was a joke, and uh, they got cancelled because of it, and... Uh, I don't know about uh, about uh, this uh, in greater detail, but we can see Kelly posted the same link. And they, this, this is an interesting comment. They said there were two scripts for the pilot, and Activision wanted to put Mario in the series. Now, this is some crazy thing right there. Like, how are you gonna put Mario on an uh, Amazon uh, pr produced show? Uh, for a franchise that's not owned by Nintendo, this would have to be some some very specific licensing contracts and agreements if they wanted to do Mario and Crash crossover. And uh, Amazon wanted it to be more kids friendly. And uh, in the end of one script called What a Baby, in which Cortex gets turned into a baby by Nina and Coco accidentally. And they have to wrangle him, and they axed it after one week of disagreement over the script. So apparently, there was something in this script that Amazon didn't like so much that they they just uh, fucking scrapped it. Like, what the hell? This is this isn't right. And uh, to be entirely fair. This doesn't really prove the nature of the show's cancellation. This just proves the show was in some form of development. That's what someone says. And this person says it was cancelled yesterday. That's what Kelly confirms. And now they still argue with this person. Like, I don't understand why are they pressing so much. Like, uh, I get it that people are always in uh, denial. And uh, they don't want to believe it, but... Uh, if this person really worked on the show, I don't understand why would you have your doubts at this, like, if they say it's cancelled, it, it is, like, um, I don't understand, and uh, we can see more, more of the dialogue here, and, uh, and yeah, more people are, like, saying that, uh, that there is, like, a, maybe it's, like, a coincidence, you know, related to joke. This person also doesn't believe. Just posted show Bible. I don't know what this means, but uh, apparently more people are doubting this. This is this is so crazy. Like, uh, and because of this, I feel we're. I feel that Kelly is going to withheld some information because of these people not uh, trusting them. Like, what the hell? I really, really don't like uh, the attitude of these people on this uh, Reddit thread because uh, they are like uh, all disagreeing. Is here in this post, uh, Kelly explains and says one joke is sort of exaggeration. It was one script, and Amazon and Activision cannot agree over the tone of humor. This script was a major point of contention. Activision wanted adult gross-out humor, Amazon wanted it more for kids. This proves that Activision, for starters, learned the mistake from Skylanders Academy, and that they wanted adult-oriented humor for Crash, which is the true way to go. Fuck this kitty bullshit that Amazon wanted to go with, like, 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 fuck this shit. I mean, if you look at the original Looney Tunes, like, uh, like in the 20th century, uh, long ago, even, uh, like, uh, like, dating back 40s and so, this was, uh, this was not meant for, uh, like, the, they, they weren't created for the minds of kids, like, they were just made for entertainment for all ages, like, the kids weren't the focus of original Looney Tunes, like, and there were so many even, uh, there were even political cartoons, like, they even made a joke uh, uh, episodes and stuff with, with Nazis, like, to, uh, uh, to, to like, uh, boost morale of, uh, 
of the soldiers fighting Nazis like they use the Looney Tunes kind of like like you can see the, the original Looney Tunes wasn't like a, a kids oriented uh, it was like only later when it uh, grew the popularity they started making it more like uh, kid oriented and uh, back then it was uh, pretty much uh, for all ages uh, in uh, like m like majorly and uh, but it wasn't the kids weren't a focus and like i said there were even some uh, some stuff that are definitely not for kids like uh, the whole nazi episodes and uh, um, some had like uh, problematic uh, humor for some people like some standards like they would just not uh, you know what i'm saying but um, honestly activision knew what to do with this uh amazon didn't know what to do so they just fucking wanted it to push the kids agenda this time and uh, and uh, it's good thing that uh, it's actually a good thing that activision didn't want to go uh, with the kids way it just sucks that amazon was pressuring them and that uh, and it pretty much it resulted in cancellation what i hope for is that activision is going to find uh, someone else aside from amazon to publish this because um, this deserves to be uh, uh, made in full form uh, how it was originally envisioned we don't need any like uh, dumbed down uh, uh, sort of script for kids like because i fully believe that the creativity can uh, it, it has to be uh, like uh, fully expressed like there should be no creative limitation like you, you get the example like uh, like uh, Vivzi making uh, hell of a boss and has been hotel and when you look at these uh, animations like now these are the animations i can watch because uh, uh they're not like uh, 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 propagating some uh, bullshit and they're they're just a, a fun adult humor that's what it is and uh, and the, the, this sort of uh, content, I can I can pre-enjoy, and you can see that it was not it was produced without any pressure to censor something or to change the script. But uh, these uh, these companies like Amazon, Netflix, uh, Disney, they always want to pressure animators and script writers to to change and to like uh, adapt to what they want and i really hate that shit and uh, it still makes me so mad like you can i'm, I'm scrolling these uh, posts just to see if i can find something uh, interesting it's uh it just um but the main thing is uh i pretty much wait what, what's this all the documents and, and properties what is this Hmm. Uh, I, I, I guess this was posted and then deleted, uh, which is shame because, uh, yeah, we, when we when we scroll back, uh, we can see that there was there's no Bible document, and when we go here on the link, it just um, the file that I already played, which is like uh, this uh, preview. Honestly, this this just sucks so much that they that they cancel this, and it it even sucks even more that uh, that the original post was altered and uh, the Bible wasn't saved. But uh, oh well, what can be done? At least uh, I cover everything I could here. We discussed about it, and we need to make a petition now. We need to start a campaign about this uh, Crash cartoon. Let me tell you, because. Uh, we can't let this be uh, all for nothing. We, we can't let them uh, just uh, keep it cancelled. We need to, to, to like give our voice, to make our voices heard and to let Activision know how much we want this and uh, Activision should seek someone else to publish this if Amazon doesn't want they, they, they can try iTunes, uh, Apple even maybe. Maybe Apple would be uh, willing to host the episodes maybe maybe they can do some other maybe they can do fucking uh, a google play store they also have some shows there there's also youtube original series they can maybe host crash on youtube like uh, youtube premium where you pay for the episodes 
I would actually, if it was like a true vision, like the true script, not the dumbed down ones, I would not mind to pay for for entire episode uh, each payment, or like to purchase a season on uh, YouTube or iTunes if they had it. I wouldn't mind it. If it was written good, it would deserve my money. What I would like even more is if there was like a complete Blu-ray edition of both seasons, because this apparently was supposed to have two seasons, but... I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm so mad about this. We need to start a campaign. Like some campaigns I did were successful. Like uh, like cancellation of modern Pac-Man. I did it. The classic Pac-Man got back. A Crash and Saint trilogy uh, campaign I led uh, for a multi-platform release. Proved to be true. Maybe this can work. Maybe not. I'm not uh, too optimistic about this one. But I still think we can try, and we're gonna do it. So. Guys, let's start this campaign. Let's get our voices heard. We gotta do some nice hashtags. Check out the description for everything. We're gonna see everything. We gotta get our voices heard and this has to be made.